Hi guys, it's Alicia here from My Work Basket. Today I'm going to show you two recent paper crafts I made. I call these letter cards. Um, they're really simple to make, so I'm just going to kind of give you a basic rundown of how I did it. I have two different styles here. And so what I did was I took an 8.5 by 11 inch piece of cardstock and I folded in thirds similar to how you'd fold like a bill or like a piece of mail. Now, if you want to make sure they fit in a standard envelope, you can measure them against the envelope while you work. Um, I have an envelope maker, so I wasn't that worried. Um, I can just make an envelope that fits it if they don't fit in a standard envelope. But so the idea is that they fit in a standard envelope and they're just a basic little design. And then when you open them, they're decorated inside like a card would be, and they have a little pocket. This one I left open like a flap. And this one I just glued down a little bit. And so the idea is that it's a card, but it's made for you to include a, a letter. Now they will make the envelope a little bit thicker, but you should still be able to send just one to two pages with a standard stamp. So for this one, what I did was use a pale yellow cardstock folded in thirds. I used a pale green with an embossing folder. Um, this embossing folder and this embellishment and this embellishment that's inside are all from a previous Tonic Studios card making set. Um, they have these on different places. Scrapbook.com has them. This isn't a retired set that you can't really find anymore, but Tonic Studios has it. It comes with a magazine, stamps, papers, everything that all kind of match. So these are from a previous one of those. This is some pink paper I sent through an embossing thing. And I just kind of layered those all up. And then on the inside, I did the green embossing folder. Now a little secret is my embossing folder is not this wide and this long. What I actually did was send it through here and here. And behind this embellishment is kind of a seam where the two pieces don't match up directly. And so then this was another embellishment from the tonic piece. This was a Sizzix thin lit die for a banner. And I just kind of combined two of them to look like ribbon. And these hearts, I added them and then I kind of disliked them a little bit afterward, but I don't want to tear them all off and risk messing up the paper. They're old Stampendous stickers. So that's kind of a basic rundown on that one. And then, like I said, there's just a little pocket here that I can do just one or two pages of notebook paper and include a handwritten letter. This one, I used a stencil and a gray ink pad to just pattern the red paper a little bit in the back. As you can see, as it gets closer to the top, I just kind of stopped. I just wanted a little extra to fill in that space. This is just some green textured cardstock that I tore to show the white. This was a tag from an embellishment set. Um, I think it's Echo Park. I'll try to link to it, especially on my website. Um, and this was a die cut. And then what I like to do is use scrap pieces of paper to make tag instead of ribbon and that way it's just a little easier I don't have to carry around as much ribbon and stuff with me um, and I just mentioned my website my website is myworkbasket.com and I do share like this video will be on there as well but then there's also other free crafty stuff free craft patterns tutorials videos just all kinds of different things and what I'll do on there is share this video and link to everything that I can find that I used in this video if you're looking for anything in specific so these are both from an embellishment kit. It's the same embellishment kit as the tag, I think. I'm pretty sure they're from the same one. And then I just used that same piece of green cardstock, the same scrap, and then a little piece over here. So it's, it's a card. You could technically almost just send this. And then it's just got like the little pocket or flap. Like I said, I left this one open, but you can also just put a tiny bit of glue along the seams and glue that down. And then you could put, if you don't want to put a letter inside, you could put a gift card, you could put like a couple of tea bags, you know, just kind of different little things like that. So I call these a letter card and I actually start by just folding. I take a wide assortment of paper colors and fold them this way before I do anything else. And then I just keep those handy to kind of decorate and do. And so that's what I like. One of the things I like to make, I'm hoping to send one of these off this week and 
there you go. Those are my letter cards. I'd love to see yours if you make any, and I'd love to have you visit my website, myworkbasket.com. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram. I'm honestly just all over the place under the name My Work Basket. Have a great day, and thanks for crafting with me.